Well, now this is Casey Yeager. I was generally going to be talking about something from a while ago. And, uh, not the G2. Gatorade, no calories. But I wanted to um, make a video response, or this video will be a video response to something from Ian Crossan, where he was talking about emoting, which um, brought to my mind uh, what I was doing a long time ago when I was in high school. I was testing ESP, parapsychology and such. I have somewhere, oh, I think I've been taking them back, did one of these uh, Duke Ryan University ESP testing cards. But you were able, actually, if you didn't have that, you could take a regular deck of cards, only had to have four symbols, uh, space clubs, uh, hearts, and diamonds. But they could suffice. You would have to uh, rearrange the equation a little bit. But you would have, like, an equal number of the spades, hearts, and cl clubs. And then you would uh, shuffle them up together. And through statistics and probability and such, uh, I think one of the things is if somebody just guessed uh, clubs for every single card, and there were only, uh, say, 20 of them. Four different suits, and then five of each card, and we 20 cards. And as he said, club, 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 continuously through all of them, they would be guaranteed to get uh, five right. So then their, uh, the score would be just chance. But of course, they're not going to guess. But if they want to, then that's the score they would get. And they're guaranteed, if they follow that technique, they will get that many right. But if you change from one card to that card, then that would be, you know, testing it. So the Duke Ryan cards were a plus, a circle, a square, uh, wavy lines, and then a star. There's a wavy line, a star, that makes that. A plus, a circle, and then a square. So that makes a total of five different images. And then you have five of each. So I think, and again, there'd be 25 cards instead of 20. And you would do it for different testings of what type of ESP. You could be testing for just telepathy. And that's the most simplest one, and that's the one that uh, we would be doing over the internet. And the way it would work is that uh, one of the ways is that I would have this video all pre-planned, and I'd write down a list of certain colors, or of those shapes. Right now, you know, I'm kind of showing you shapes. I have this little cube, if you can see, that we can kind of do a magic trick in. What I do is I hold it behind myself. And this would be great, in a sense, for a hangout. It's got, I put it, put it together like this, and where my thumb is, it is black, and where my index finger is, it is white. And if you go around, you spin, you have red, blue, green, and yellow. So those are the colors. So what we'll you do is you put it into a box, and we go like this, and we shuffle it around. 
is the way the trick really works is I'm supposed to guess it's a color grade. You out there, I hold it up to you, and you put it in somewhere, give it back to me, and I put it behind my back and go, hmm, I'm trying to think of it. Then I come out, I hold it in front of you, you put your finger on top, you tell me, see, I need your finger to be on top, you see. And I tell you that so you'll be touching it and thinking about the color you place on the top. Okay? Anyway, but in the reverse situation, what we could do is I would know the color of ideas that's on the top. Then I would hold it up and I'd concentrate on what the color would be. So your choices are a black, a white, or four of the very, very basic colors. Red, yellow, green, and blue. No violet, no orange. No fancy, fancy colors like that. Yes, four basic colors in white and black. So we would do that, I would concentrate. And at the end of the video, I would um, wait and wait and wait. Then I might not say what they have. I might say, go check out another video, and then you'll see the colors that it is. That would be a good way to do it. Okay, so I guess this would be a good video.